After his mother was held in an ICE prison while traveling to the U.S. for a deportation hearing, NFL player Neville Hewitt took aim at immigration officials. The 30-year-old linebacker for the Houston Texans claimed that as he was getting ready for a playoff game against the Baltimore Ravens, his mother, 47-year-old ex-convict Dion Jones, was arrested last Saturday when she arrived at an Atlanta airport. Before being deported to Jamaica in 2017, Jones was incarcerated for nine years in a Georgia state jail on narcotics charges when cocaine and marijuana were discovered in a vehicle in which she was a passenger, according to the Daily Beast. Jones's attorney worked her way through the complicated immigration system to set up a hearing last week that would allow her to re-enter the U.S., fulfilling her long-held dream of seeing her son play in the NFL. The mother was placed in a filthy immigration detention facility that is, worse than prison, yet ICE officers chose to arrest her as soon as she stepped onto the runway. Hewitt is currently spearheading the effort to change the mind-blowing circumstance. Even though Jones was on appeal, deportees with drug convictions are automatically jailed under U.S. immigration rules if they ever return to the country. His mother would wear an ankle monitor until her hearing, according to Hewitt's family. Her immigration attorney, Benjamin Osorio, claims an ICE official misled him into thinking her home detention would be a routine one. They told us that everything was prepared for approval, he stated. He went on to say that he hoped that perhaps he'll just try to facilitate her, through after an ICE officer, warned him that they would meet her off the plane. Jones, who had never before run afoul of the law, had been afraid that if she left Jamaica, she might wind up back in prison, but the protracted talks for her landing seemed to reassure her. You don't need someone to board a plane and sit in jail, Hewitt subsequently stated to the Daily Beast. No one is going to pursue that. Rather, as soon as she touched there, Jones was taken off the crowded aircraft in handcuffs, and for the past week, she has been held in legal limbo in the Stewart Detention Center, one of the biggest immigration detention centers in the United States, located two hours outside of Atlanta. Osorio declared, where she is, it's worse than prison. When you are in immigration detention, all you do is eat and sleep. Not much is within your power. All you're doing is sitting there thinking. Hewitt continued, she didn't do anything to deserve this right now. It will drive you insane to know that you're locked up, and have no idea why, nor what's going on with you you have no explanation. It doesn't matter where you're from or who you are. It's astounding. The NFL player continued, saying that his mother's situation had made him aware of the serious problems with the immigration laws in the United States, which keep individuals in the dark and bewildered for months while they try to get through the cracks. He stated, this is what's happening in our country and a lot of us are just unaware that this is actually happening. It has persisted for years. Jones was caught on a state drug trafficking allegation in 2008, which led to her conviction and to prison terms. When police pulled over the car she was riding in, they found 40 grams of cocaine and some marijuana in the trunk of the car. Hewitt distinctly recalled learning about his mother's incarceration after she failed to show up for his high school football game, and seeing her again behind a prison wall. He recollected, it is heartbreaking, highlighting the profound effect the arrest had on his formative years. Jones and his brother Horace resided in her house, with their mother's lover, who was unpaid, and didn't provide for the boy's needs, including food and electricity. Hewitt was compelled to eat only the breakfast and lunch provided at school, where he could also take showers even though he was an excellent football player in high school. I ate what I got at school, he declared, adding that he was happy to receive a scholarship to Georgia Military College, which would have allowed him to eat three meals a day. Jones's imprisonment also prevented her from witnessing Neville become their family's first college graduate. I was mentally ready because I kind of knew she wouldn't be able to make it, he recounted. The best part of it all, though, was that both my brother, and I completed our college degrees. Jones's 2017 parole hearing abruptly ended when she was ordered to be deported back to Jamaica by immigration officials, who also placed a hold on her case.
She then spent a year and a half at the Irwin County Detention Center, which was later closed to women due to a scandal involving a prison physician who was found to have done needless hysterectomy on prisoners in an attempt to stay in the United States. Jones claimed that the filthy circumstances in the detention facility were so bad that she eventually decided to be deported in order to get out of the stressful prison. She also alleged that her hair fell out and she stopped eating. Hewitt, who made an estimated $11 million during his nine-year NFL career, was able to construct a lovely home and farm after being deported to Jamaica. Despite living in the Caribbean and missing all of his NFL games, the great linebacker has had multiple opportunities to see Jones. Most recently, in April, he published a heartfelt birthday post for his mother on Instagram, which was taken during his most recent trip to Jamaica. When Jones was at last released, she attempted to challenge her deportation order. Osorio was able to set up the latest hearing by convincing an appeals court that Jones' 2008 arrest was never a aggravated felony. Nevertheless, despite Osorio's efforts getting Jones a hearing, she had to attend in person, which is why she flew to Atlanta last week. Hewitt stated that his mother stayed in the detention facility while he played the Ravens and that if she had believed there was a possibility she would be arrested again, she would not have attempted to enter the country. Hewitt claimed that despite her circumstances, his mother's primary thought was comforting him following his 34-10 playoff loss. I thought, I'm all right, he told the Daily Beast, this stuff they got you going through is not. The NFL player claimed his family is frantically trying to find a solution since they have been in legal limbo for the past week. He went on, it feels like we're reliving something that we had already passed. We were already beyond this stage, and now it seems as though we've returned to the beginning. It's difficult to witness her going through that once more and merely attempting to maintain her composure, Osorio continued. On Saturday, Hewitt posted on his Instagram story that he and his brother had visited Stewart to see his mother. However, prisoners are only permitted to see their families for one hour each week. She did nothing to earn this at this time. Hewitt may spend some time behind bars, despite his celebrity position. Despite the fact that she is scheduled to appear before a judge in February, Osario stated that she might not have another hearing for months. If she prevails, he anticipates that the process will drag on for several more months, because the government nearly always files an appeal. I'm afraid she's going to give it all up and go back, the lawyer said in closing. I realize it's probably not a great place for her mentally to go back to a detention setting, because she was incarcerated for a long time and had just been free for a few years. Hewitt stated that even if the Ravens' playoff loss may have ended his season, the legal ordeal would be worthwhile if his mother is able to watch him play in the future. He remarked, she would love to be going crazy in the stands.